Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS unveils new online identity verification process for accessing self-help tools. A lot of news flowing today from the IRS's ARS. IR 2021-228, November 17, 2021, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today announced the launch of an improved identity verification and sign-in process that enables more people to securely access and use IRS online tools and applications. Taxpayers using the new mobile-friendly verification procedure can gain entry to existing IRS online services such as the Child Tax Credit Update Portal online account, Get Transcripts Online, Get an Identity Protection PIN and IPPIN, and Online Payment Agreement. There's links to all that wonderful stuff here as well. Additional IRS applications will transition to the new method over the next year. Quote, Identity verification is critical to protect taxpayers and their information. The IRS has been working hard to make improvements in this area, and this new verification process is designed to make IRS online application as secure as possible for people, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Quote, to help taxpayers and tax community, we are improving the accessibility of online tools that help families manage their child tax credit, check on IRS accounts, and securely perform other routine tasks online, end quote. The new process can reach more people through the expanded use of identity documents and increased help desk assistance for taxpayers who encounter a problem when attempting to verify their identity online. Developed under the Secure Access G Digital Identity Innovative, the SADI, let me say that one more time, Secure Access Digital Identity Initiative, the SADI, the new process complies with federal mandate. So it's kind of nice that they're updating their online tools to meet more of the needs. You would think that that would be a thing that would need to be happening given the fact that many businesses, even financial institutions like banking businesses, those which 10 years ago you might not have thought would all be online and have so much online services do. So you would think you would have similar kind of capabilities with the IRS, even though there's sensitive information related to it to ease the accessibility and so on as technology grows here. So to provide verification services, the IRS is using ID.me, a trusted technology provider. The new process is one more step the IRS has taken to ensure that taxpayer information is provided only to the person who illegally has a right to the data. The IRS also integrated this new account created process into some applications used by tax professionals, including those used to request powers of attorney or tax information authorizations online using TaxPro account or the submit form 2848 and 8821 online. There's links to those items as well. Really nice, by the way, if they can get that form 2848 as they basically have at this point to be something that you can kind of have an e-signature type of process, which they're in essence doing by having the clients be able to log in online and have that signature process happen with that. That's the power of attorney kind of process. That's kind of nice, kind of useful. And accessing IRS tools. When accessing the tools listed above, taxpayers will be asked to sign in with an ID.me account. People who already have IRS usernames may continue to use their credentials from the old system to sign in until summer 2022, but are prompted to create an ID.me account as soon as possible. Anyone with an existing ID.me account from the Child Tax Credit Update Portal or from another government agency can sign in with their existing credentials the verif to verify their identity with ID.me. Taxpayers need to provide a photo of an identity document, such as a driver's license, state ID, or passport. Uh, they'll also need to take a selfie with a smartphone or a computer with a webcam. Once their identity has been verified, they can securely access IRS online services. Taxpayers who need help verifying their identity are submitting a support ticket can visit id.me IRS help site. There's a link to that here. There'll be a link to this in the description.